Hello everyone, Jeff and Derek with Indiana Liquor Group. Derek, we got a special month this month. Bourbon Heritage Month. Our favorite kind of month. Our favorite. <laughs> Every month should be Bourbon Heritage Month, but it's not. That's right. So, what are we doing different this month? Well, you know, well, for one, these are big hitters. These aren't allocated, but these are just... Everybody loves every one of these bourbons. That's right. Think, we're right? taking it back, aren't the, we? Taking it back to the delicious. classics. Yes. Absolutely. And then we're going to do something else, a pairing, maybe? I think so. Yeah. We are very lucky to have our very own Chef Jason join us today. So it's going to be a different kind of review. Yeah. We're not going to just review bourbon, but because it's Bourbon Heritage Month, we're going to see which one of these is going to pair with what dish we're going to be featuring in this video today. Yeah, I mean, we all have to eat too. We can't just only drink. So yeah, we're bringing some food in. That's right. We're going to teach you what to drink and what to eat and how to do it. That sounds good to me. All right, <laughs> let's 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 go check it out. Yep. Hey, Chef Jason, I tell you what, I'm, I'm walking up here and as soon as I hit the door, I smelled this, so I had to come in here and find out what you were making. Yeah. Yeah, what do you, what do you got for well, us? Well, we took some nice salmon and made a nice coffee and uh, brown sugar rub, put it on top, broiled it under the broiler to get a nice crust on that. Then with the rice, we took um, just some uh, rice and then creamed it out with uh, some cream, some butter, added some Parmesan, and added some uh, fresh uh, pomegranate perils. Okay, you know, yeah. And made the pomegranate rice. And so then on top, we uh, cooked down some apples, onion, and made an apple uh, fig chutney that would go on top of, for the fall season, of course. And then toasted hazelnuts, you know, it tastes like fall. I, I tell you what, I wish that everybody could smell this. And, and it, it smells delicious. It even looks better. Um, you know, I don't know if this is fortuitous that, that you happen to make this today or maybe you <laughs> got tipped off. But, uh, you know, something that might go well with this is, yep. is one of the whiskeys we're featuring this month, uh, Woodford. Do you think that might work? Man, I, I think it will. Nothing but... Fall flavors. Oh, absolutely! I think yeah. it'll go great. Mm -hmm. I think. Let's we, find uh, out. Yeah, let's get Jeff and uh, and taste this. See how it works. Let's do it. All right, Chef. Yep. You guys have already set and prepared for this. You've selected this as the Woodford, uh, the Double Oak, which is a classic bourbon. So we're ready to dive into this, aren't we? Ready to go. You know, to to find out if this is actually going to be a perfect pair. We love to do this and see how you can utilize the benefits and create a nice balance between the actual dish mm -hmm. and the whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the balance of flavors in this whole dish together, let's try it because it, I think it goes great with the double oak. It's double oak. Mm -hmm. So let's see where this goes. Let's go. All let's right. Do it. So to try this, we get some of this, we take a bite and we, we try the whiskey while we still have some food in our yeah, mouth. Right? That's what I like. I think right. it works the best. And you gotta get a little bit of everything because the, all the flavors flow together. And we're trying to create balance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is tough for me because I'm usually a station eater. I eat all of one thing and then the next and then the next. But. Mm. Mm. That is delicious, Jason. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, man, <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm always blown away how this works, and and I hope you folks get a chance to try this because what happened is the the wood the woodiness the oak really pops through. Yeah, really pops through. I can see that with the with the nuts here. Well, then I get the flavor of the spices on the salmon and in the, in the chutney too of the spice of the cinnamon, the allspice, the nutmeg coming through. It's fantastic. You know what? For me, worked for the, all of that worked as well. But the apple fig and the and even the pomegranate that you had in the rice, mm -hmm. it brought those dark toasted fruit notes out. Absolutely, yeah. It just pulled them to me. That's what it really pulled out of this. And yep. who would have thought to to do double oak wood for double oak? It's always known as that dessert, yep. kind of that after dinner kind of a pour. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this just rocks, man. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. And it tones down a little bit of the, the leather and the chocolate tones that has in it when you taste it by itself. Yeah, there's no chocolate. It really amps up the wood in this. Yes. And Woodford for the money is as good as you can oh, find. Oh, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you got something else for us, don't you? We do. Let's oh, go try it. Let's check it out. All right, Chef Jason, we are here again, and we're ready to do our second pairing today. Yeah. So what do we got? Well, dessert time, right? Yeah. So what speaks better with 
with bourbon than pecan pie. You know, these are a homemade pecan pie bars um, with a nice shortbread crust, you know, and then we got toasted pecans, brown sugar, butter, you know, and just baked nice and then get that no, nice fall toastiness, gooey. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. You're speaking my language, man. <laughs> uh, you're speaking everybody's yes. language out there. And we, we already know this. This is easy. And we're so lucky that this is being Bourbon, Her Bourbon Heritage Month mm -hmm. and that you're joining us. And we have the perfect pairing. I think this sure. is going to be so easy, right? Yeah. Really easy. And yeah. that is... Can't wait. The Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Oh, man. You know, this was hard to get. Now it's, mm -hmm. now it's easy to get. Yeah. And we're going to have this at our tasting. So let's try this out right now and see where this goes. Let's try it. So welcome back, and what do we finish every great meal with? A great dessert, right? <laughs> so, pecan, what, what is it exactly again? Yeah, it, it's just a, you know, traditional pecan pie bars. Pecan I did pie bars. bars instead of a pie in a pie shell. We did it with a shortbread crust. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm just ready. Gosh. You know, we almost, we could have easily finished that bottle of wood for double oak because oh, that was so good. Was so good. But we had to save room for this. We did. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> good. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, oh so, my gosh. We, what so what's, what's, what's surprising to me is I'm, I'm focused on the pecans, right? But... Just the shortbread, oh the, the the crust mm -hmm. is what this whiskey really brought up and brought out to the front. The butter in butter. it, just the, yes, it was the crust that this really enhanced. You to totally agree. Because yeah. really, when you think about it, the pecans are so, they're sweet mm -hmm. and it's so dominating. Mm -hmm. When you taste the uh, Elijah Craig toasted with this, mm -hmm. you're right. It really pulls that um, shortbread out and just... Totally creates this awesome balance again. Yeah, with the brown sugar <laughs> so mixed good. in there with that, and to me on the back end now, I'm getting more like cornbreadish. The corn, yeah, it's that butter mm -hmm. and that shortbread. It just, I mean, it enhances that so well. Again, another fantastic pairing. <laughs> and folks, we wanted to do this just a little bit different because you know, again, classic bourbon with a twist. You know, it's a toasted barrel, so it's it's a little newer product, but. Uh, Chef, if people want to know more about food pairing and whiskey, mm -hmm. wh where do they find you at? Well, sure. You can go to A Takes for Whiskey on YouTube and check out that channel with all kinds of videos and the perfect pair, of course. And then you can go to Instagram, A Takes for Whiskey, and check it all out. And we're out there all the time posting stuff. And you can follow Jeff and, and uh, yeah. Well, I sure love it, Chef. I mean, this has been great. And folks, uh, come to the tasting. We're not going to have the food with us. but There, you there won't be any left. <laughs> 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 but you can taste the whiskey. Right. And this is going to be a great month. So cheers to Bourbon Heritage Month. Mm -hmm. Cheers. cheers.